Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BLRX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame and has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out our levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. And honestly, I, I pulled this up and it, it totally caught me off guard because I knew I was gonna do this analysis, but the last time I checked it out, uh, you know, the price was looking something like this, meaning the price, you know, so I was, all right, well, it pulled back, at least it's consolidating. So, you know, I, I'll probably be talking about 40 cents as that level of support. And then all of a sudden, like I said, I just pulled it back up and wow, did the last 30 minutes, the wheels totally fell off the bus on this thing. So that totally rearranges, you know, how I would describe this. And I'm not saying this towards the company because I don't know anything about the company, but in, in judging how the price has acted. So from a price action perspective, this thing was just a, a pure and utter pump and dump. I mean, to stop and think about the fact that on Monday, the price closed right here. And then this morning, the price opened up right there. The price actually ran up to that point. Some poor souls bought right there. And now all of a sudden, by the time the closing bell is rung, not only did the price go back to where it started, which was right here, it just kept on going and has gone even lower than where it started. So that is definitely, like I said, if there's, there, there's no other really way to, to summarize today's price action other than an, an absolute pump and dump. Now, the interesting thing, and this will mean a little bit more to those of you that have traded for a while, but there can be some pretty interesting price movements after these, this sort of price uh, pump and dump price movement. I mean, definitely need to see some sort of form of stabilization first. I mean, right now, very clearly still a lot of downward momentum, but if the price can start to chip away and you know get some sideways movement, don't get me wrong, and I wish trading was this easy. easy. I'm not saying that just because it's been beat up, go sideways, then for sure it's gonna skyrocket to the upside, but you know, it at least becomes plausible and a more of an interesting situation in that uh, you know set of circumstances. But the first thing that needs to happen is just simply to show that maybe this is some sort of bottom with some sideways price action. But as of right now, uh, you know you can't really say that this is the bottom because for the most part, uh, it, it was pure bearishness that final 30 minutes. So keep an eye on it though. And like I said, uh, you know if it can start to show some sideways price movement, then from a risk versus reward perspective, it, it gets pretty interesting. But as of right now, like I said, if you're uh, to force me into a corner and say, look, Clay, summarize this quickly, absolute pump and dump. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.